Hey everybody, this is Brad from Johnson Small Engines, better known as a One Hand Mechanic. If I can do it, you can too. Today we are working on a Pull-In Pro. This is a 19 horsepower, 42 inch cut, as you can see by the PP19A42. It just means it's 19 horsepower, 42 inch cut. Today we're going to show you how to take the mower deck off and put it back on. And also, if you watch until the end of the video, I'm actually going to make this deck raise up a lot higher than it is. As you can see, it's raised all the way up in the sixth position right here. On my scale, it's about three and a half. And we're gonna make this raise up to where it should by putting an, an extra adapter on it that you can purchase either from me or on the internet. Anyway, let's get to it. As far as getting the motor deck off, if you can do this on concrete or asphalt, that'd be great. Put the brake in on position, the parking brake. I'm gonna go ahead and put the mower deck all the way down as far as it'll go. All we need to take the mower deck on and off is, I use a pry bar to help me uh, just basically put the mower deck back in position and when you're putting it back on, and a pair of pliers to get the clips off. So let's go ahead and start by taking the front clip off the front hanger. So that is right here. Okay, now you can check to see if it's loose, and if it is loose, then you don't have to worry about using the uh, the pry bar to get it off, just take your clip out. This is what I call a butterfly or bow tie clip. They work very nicely. Washer. And then you just have to push this out off to the side. Now, as far as the rod, if you are going to be having the motor deck off for a long period of time, take the rod out of the front of the machine so it does not, you, you're gonna jackknife this, you're gonna bend it. I've seen it happen a lot of times. Just take it out of the front. Just make sure when you put it back, put it back in the right spot as we will do. Okay, coming back to the arm underneath the machine here, right here, this is the back arm. One of them, we're just gonna pull this down, push it forward, comes right out. Now pay attention to which way this is going. This is facing rearward, and I always tell everybody, don't put your clips on facing forward, put your clips on facing rearward. So, you know, we do 90% of our traveling forward, and if it does get pushed, it'll just get pushed in. It won't get pushed out and fall off. Now, these are really good clips. I like them a lot, and they don't fall off usually, so just make sure when you put it back in, put it back in this way. So we're gonna go ahead and drop this arm. Now, we do have the blade engagement cable on this side, which is running under here. Okay, and if you follow this back, it'll follow us back to one, our hanger that has to come off, and also the cable. Now up here, there's a little clip, and actually it looks like it fell off its spot. It's supposed to be clipped in like that, but you can just use your fingernail and push it up, push the clip down, and that'll come out. So that'll put off to the side. Your clip here, bow tie clip, you're gonna take this off. And pair of pliers, your fingers, whatever is better for you, works. Take the washer off. This will just come off the side. Now this has got a little tension on it, and that's where the pry bar will come in handy. If you put the pry bar underneath the mower deck, slide it in, pull up a little bit, and then it'll just basically just have that come right off. You can just set that off to the side. Now we go around to the other side. We're gonna go ahead and do the center right here. And again, this one's a little bit more tricky because it's kind of right up where the fender is. And I'm gonna use the pair of needle nose pliers that I have to get the clip off. Okay. Pull this off, down, go back to this one. Now this is the reason why I want everybody to stay till the end. This arm right here is non-adjustable and it only allows the mower deck to come up at certain height. So if you want this, if you want your mower deck more adjustable, watch until the end. Oops, just lost that clip. Here's a clip, washer. There is a little tension on this, but it looks like it'll just come off. All right, not too bad, set that to the side. Now we have to go to the other side and put your mower deck in the up position. So right now we're gonna go ahead and put this all the way up in the up position. Now be careful, this is, normally they're spring loaded, so if you let go, it'll kind of spring up. Just be careful. Come back down. We're gonna go ahead and since we have to take this cable off, we're gonna slide the machine out, or we're gonna slide the deck off now. I did forget one step. Make sure you take your belt off the front here. And by taking the belt off the front, there's little U hangers that you're just gonna pick it up out of the U hanger right here and drop it down to the side. Now, if you can reach around to the other side, you just pick it up, put it down like that. Now you did, the belt is now out of the way. We're gonna slowly pull the mower deck out because we have to get this cable off. Bring it out. Now it's clipped in right here. 
Now this is one of those clips where it's not a pin, it's actually a piece of plastic clip underneath this right here. And what I normally do is, this is gonna be easier for you guys out there, but me being one-handed, I'm gonna pull lightly against the cable with my arm and then I'm gonna pinch this together and then pull it out of the slot. Like that, just enough. Just enough so you can pull it up and out of the slot right here. And then your spring, which is right here on this hole right here, okay, the spring has an opening. Now, sometimes these springs are upside down and they're actually facing the other direction. So just be careful when you do take it off. You wanna have the opening to the point where you can turn it 90 degrees and just unslide it out from the, from the arm. The arm has a hole in it. And now remember, when you pull this out, remember you're gonna go underneath your brake bar here and underneath your belt. So when you put the belt, when you put this cable back on, you wanna make sure that you're underneath both of these. You don't want them rubbing. Also noticed right here, there's a nice adjuster for your belt tension. So you have a little bit of a adjustment, which is very nice. This is an older machine. They, some machines have them, some machines didn't have this. This is just a nice feature right here. And then we're just gonna go ahead and put this up out of the way. And then you just have to pull the mower back out. Okay, so that's how you take off the mower deck. And I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall the mower deck right now. And I'm gonna show you how to make this uh, deck adjust a lot better side to side by putting on an adjustment bracket. And let's go ahead and put this on first. So we're gonna slide the mower deck back under. We're just basically gonna do the reverse of what we did coming out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the cable back on. Slide it underneath the belt, underneath your brake. And you just have to be careful you do not kink the cable. I'm gonna have the opening right here 90 degrees into your eyelet on your blade engagement bracket, like that. And then if you pull slightly, you just have to get the cable in between the slot and then push this in like that. Now it locks, okay? So you're locked in right there. Then you push it under. And I'm gonna go ahead and start by putting on the front bracket first which is right here. Now, as you can see, we're three inches away. So you can either, now the brake is on the, mow, the mower, so it really doesn't move that easily. You can move the machine back, but you have to take off your brake. I'm just gonna pull the, pull the uh, mower deck forward a little bit, and then it'll slide right in. You're gonna go ahead and put your washer on, your clip in. Like so. Now since we're here, we're gonna go ahead and put the mower deck belt. Now remember, there's a U bracket here. You have to put the mower deck above, above the first little U. Gotta make sure it's in between. And when you put it all back together again, and I'm doing the other side while we're here, make sure you engage your deck just to make sure that everything's running the way it should be and every, all the belts are in the, uh, same, the right alignment. Some of these mower decks have covers. You have to make sure that your belt is in the, the pulleys. Everything's lined up. So going back to the center here, we're gonna go ahead and put this up. And I'm just manipulating the mower deck by moving it back and forth with my one arm. I'm gonna go ahead and put the clip on like that. We go to the back. Now, since I have the mower deck raised, we're gonna go ahead and lower the mower deck arm all the way down to the lowest position. And now it doesn't quite work, doesn't quite make it there. So we're gonna go ahead and put our pry bar underneath the mower deck about center. And it does move around on the concrete, so you just have to mirror. Now, by putting it in the center, I have access to lower up, making this go up and down like that. And then it just fits, it's perfect. Put the washer on, clip facing rearward, and just slide your pry bar out. Okay, this side is done, we'll go to the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the center arm. And just Now, it's not even close right here. I'm gonna pull the mower deck back a little bit. And then it lines right up. Have your clip facing rearward, like that. And then the, now this is where, we're gonna replace this, okay? This is non-adjustable arm right here. This bracket here is non-adjustable. I have to put it back on so we can easily take off this 9 16 bolt up, or I'm sorry, this 9 16 nut up here. So I'm gonna put this back on to help us have leverage to take off that nut. So we're gonna go ahead and put the washer on. We don't necessarily have to put the washer on. But this is the bracket. This is adjustable, as you can see. This bracket is adjustable. It's on. 
All right, this is the part number right here. I will put a link in the description uh, below of the video. If you want to order it through me, the part number is right here. It's 589-464-807 if you want to order it from wherever. Uh, deck level and gauge, I'm going to show you how the big difference in how the mower deck is now versus when we put this on. 14 millimeter or 916, so I'm pretty sure they're pretty close to the same socket. That's what you're going to need to take the nut off. 3 8 ratchet or even bigger because that nut is a lock nut and it could be pretty hard. That's why I'm going to use my electric drill. And this extension is about 8 inches long, maybe a little bit more. And that's what I need to get in there with the socket to just make it accessible. Uh, you can use a shorter extension, but you have to put your, your ratchet inside the wheel well, which is not you know the best way to go. So go ahead, let's go ahead and take these tools and we will go down and show you what it's all about. Okay, so now we're back at the mower deck. I'm gonna show you by putting the mower deck all the way up in as far as position we can, up to number six. If that's inches, then that should be, the blade should be around six inches up. Now granted, it's huge. It looks like a lot right now, but when this is in the grass, it's gonna be a lot less. It's gonna be lower than you really think it is. So we're gonna check this with my gauge. This gauge I'll also put on length. This is a, this is a deck leveling gauge and it just shows you the readings of the blade from ground to the blade tip. And this one's showing a little bit, this is showing about a little over three and a half. So that's 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 not even close to six if it's supposed to be in inches. So we're gonna, and if this was in the grass right now, this would be a lot lower than it really looks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put an adjustable link on this side because you can only adjust the other side. You can't adjust this side, which means that you're limited to adjustment on this mower deck on this side by this rod on how it, in, in as high up as it is at, at three, a little over three and a half, it's not coming up to where it shows six on your deck height adjustment. So we're gonna take this off and put the adjuster on. So you go ahead and put the mower deck back down. I'm gonna go ahead and use my 916 socket and I'm gonna use my electric ratchet. And we're gonna take off this nut on top here. Okay, now this will fall right out the back. It should fall right out the back. Okay, like that. Now you can take it off down here first if you want to. It gives you a little bit better maneuverability. maneuverability. And here's the rod that is not adjustable. And we're gonna replace it with the adjustable. And if you look at the hole back up here on the rear bracket, this will just go right in, down 90, and it'll be just like the other side. Now this adjustment here is up way high, and I'm gonna leave it there because I want the mower deck to come up as high as we can. Now we do have to, now I'm gonna put, also I'm gonna put a, how to adjust the mower deck level in the description below. I'm just gonna go ahead and Level this mower deck out real quick. We're going to go ahead and put this on. It set, looks like it's a very long way away. That's where your pry bar comes in. We're going to put the pry bar under. We're going to go ahead and put this on. Now I'm going to go ahead and off camera here, I'm going to level this deck out with both side adjustments. And I'm going to show you the big difference on how high we can get it. So we'll be right back. We're at four and a half side to side. That is much better than, that's an inch, an inch and a half higher than we were, an inch higher than we were. So that's much better. Now, you do have to worry about your front to back, which is when your blade is facing forward, front to back as I call it. Okay, so you just wanna make sure that you're even, not up in the front, even or down slightly up to a quarter inch down in the front is good. So we're even here and all, you know, and the side to side is perfect. And then when you bring the lower deck all the way up, you can see, it might be a little hard to see this on camera, but this mower deck is sitting much higher and the customer will have a lot more height adjustment to go into higher grass and have it up higher. I have a lot of people who complain about the mower decks running way too low, all the way in the up position. So that's why that adjuster is very nice to have. Now one thing you should do, after you have the mower deck on and you're all adjusted, make sure you engage your mower deck blade. Okay, and then come under your, your deck and make sure that all the belts are facing 
the correct way. And as you can see right here, this is a perfect example of why I double check everything. This mower deck belt right here is actually up off the pulley. So what I have to do is it came out of its finger. Disengage the mower deck belt. It's just a finger, a little metal finger right here. Now what'll happen is that'll jump on the other side and then it'll wear the belt out within five minutes. So luckily I saw that. I'm gonna go ahead and re-engage it. You check your belt tension, which is tight. Make sure that your belt is running above everything it's supposed to be and your spring on the other side is actually in the right hole on, well, it's in the hole correctly positioned. It's not rubbing anything. So everything looks good. So right now we take it outside and run it and we'll be good to go. So that pretty much sums it up for how to remove and install the mower deck and also install a adjuster for the other side. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, tell your friends about my channel and I'll catch you guys on the next one.